Our other big story at six, concerns over the coronavirus keeps growing. The first U.S. citizen has died from coronavirus in the city of Wuhan, China. Now this comes as a big celebration of Chinese culture it takes place in New Haven today. Channel 3 Amadeus News reporter Aya Galal is live on the New Haven Green with more on what those with ties to China are saying. Aya? Hi, Kevin. Yeah, the Lunar Fest celebration here in New Haven has since wrapped up. The event commemorates the Chinese New Year. And for those attending today who have family in China, they say they're very worried as the number of coronavirus cases keep growing. A sea of red and yellow in the streets of New Haven. Families from all over the state gathering in the Elm City for the annual Lunar Fest celebration. I think it's a big opportunity to get together our Chinese community and also other Asian community here and to celebrate the New Year. The Chinese New Year is the most important holiday in China. Today's festivities featuring food, art, and a lion and dragon dance parade. I am here every year for this uh, Lunar uh, Festival. And while today's event is about celebrating, coronavirus is on the minds of many. Sheng Ding is from Bethany and has been in touch with his family in China. It's better to stay at home for these couple of weeks. Since the outbreak began in December, the coronavirus has killed more than 700 people worldwide, mostly in China. More than 34,000 people have been infected with the virus. Officials are trying to be proactive in an effort to prevent the virus from continuing to spread. There's, of course, a lot of concern about um, the potential for us to have a coronavirus case in New Haven. Um, but our health department has been in contact with the state and the federal government. So we know at least 12 cases of the coronavirus have been confirmed in the United States. Airports all over the world are on high alert. Many airlines have scaled back flights to and from mainland China. We are live tonight in New Haven. Aya Channel 3 Eyewitness News.